It's now 25 years later, and the Palm Springs AIDS Walk is still going strong. So far since it began, the effort has brought in more than $6 million. Here to tell us more about it is Brett Klein from Desert AIDS Project. Thank you for joining us this morning. Absolutely. Thanks, Anthony. Uh, do, do us a favor. You have a special award that's being presented this weekend. Tell us about it. Absolutely. We are the um, Spirit of Stonewall Advocate of the Year Award, which is the first time honoree from Greater Palm Springs Pride. Mm -hmm. And so as part of that, we're going to be like there's two legs to the AIDS walk. Our normal AIDS walk will start around 730 um, registration, 930 we walk or 915 we walk out. We walk up uh, Indian Canyon up to Ramon, where we stage for a few minutes, and then we'll join in the Pride Parade for the first time ever nationally. Mm. That they're offering, you know, that we basically have an AIDS walk and a Pride festival and a parade going on simultaneously, and then we'll be featured at a float and a, you know, all of our walkers in the parade itself. Tell us about your float. What do you have? Yeah, we actually have. Well, if you can see, it's hard to see the the Keith Haring um, <laughs> figure. <laughs> We've been uh, very. It's very nice. The Keith Haring Foundation was nice enough to give us the rights to use some of his figures, and he's an LGBT um, artist and and many things and world renowned. And so we've incorporated this look into the parade float itself, which then ties in with our other theme, which we'll do for the float again for Festival of Lights, mm -hmm. and then at the same time it falls into Steve Chase in February. Nice. So we get a lot of bang for the buck out of some, uh, you know, the look and feel, which is very synonymous with, you know, pride and with all things kind of, you know, AIDS walk, and it's just a great kind of visual. <laughs> Well, for our winter visitors or for people who have never been part of this, give us an idea maybe how long this walk is. Yeah, I mean, the first part, as I said, it's in two legs. So the mm -hmm. first part's about a mile and a quarter, mile okay. and a half at the most, from Techiva up to uh, Ramon. And then it's uh, exactly the same distance back. So the That's most right. you're going to walk is two and a half miles. It's a nice leisurely pace. We have water stops along the way. Obviously, the parade portion, you'll have tons of entertainment. The AIDS walk portion, we're actually unit number 25 after the mayor and okay. city council. So we'll be done, and you'll be at the other end of the parade route, and you'll be able to watch everybody come in. How can our viewers get involved if they want to? Absolutely. They can go to desertaidsproject.org mm -hmm. on the Internet, um, and you can register there. You can also just show up that morning. Um, as well, bring okay. a check. If you want a t-shirt like this, our actual t-shirts will be red okay. um, with the same design, but um, their $30 donation is what we ask, and then um, everybody has the opportunity to walk in any portion of the walk with us. We also have entertainment that morning. Mm -hmm. Palm Desert High School singers will be there performing, um, 40 kids from the high school, um, as well as Timothy Brown, the Berlin patient, speaking. Um, Andy Bell from Erasure okay, um, wow. will also be there um, speaking and addressing the crowd, plus Manny Perez. So we have go. a very, very good schedule in the morning and very fun. Sounds great. For more information, all you have to do is go to our website at KMIR6.com. We have that website available for you that Brett just mentioned. Uh, also, uh, yeah, there's a link there, so click on to that. Brett, we want to thank you for joining us this morning. Absolutely. Thank right. you for having me again. All right. Thank you. Well